Squeeze really tight. It's been four years since Ian was able to move his hands. The 23-year-old quadriplegic said he didn't mind being a guinea pig of a pioneering research programme, but he never dreamed he'd be able to do this. Ian is the first patient to undergo an operation that doctors hope could be used to restore movement to paralysed people the world over. Today was great. I mean, to be able to open and close my hand and do those complex movements that I haven't been able to do in four years was great. It took just a tenth of a second for Ian's thoughts to move his hand, but the technology that allowed him to do it took nearly ten years to develop. Scientists at Iowa State University implanted a microchip the size of a pea into Ian's brain. The chip was connected to a computer that can decode messages from the brain. The computer then beamed commands to a sleeve on his forearm that told his muscles what to do. I do believe there will be a day coming soon when somebody who's got disability being a quadriplegic or somebody with a stroke, somebody with any kind of brain injury, can use the power of their mind and by thinking being able to move their arms or legs. Ian now coaches lacrosse, a sport he used to enjoy as an active teenager. It was a diving accident that paralyzed him from the chest down. But now he's seen and felt the potential of a new technology that could one day prove life-changing. Joe Tidy, Sky News. Very good.